Hi, I'm Ziggy Tom. I'm a 4 a.m. James, and I'll be breaking it down for you. So, for the first song, we have Jolly Ranchers. Now, when I made Jolly Ranchers, I was in Colorado, and I was pretty sad. As you can hear by the lyrics, I'm gonna start it off. You can obviously hear that I don't really care what people think, even though I do. And the Jolly Rancher expression was used for lean. And even though I don't sip lean, it feels, you know, sometimes it gets to me and it, it feels like that, you know. But I don't do lean or anything like that, you know. I'm good, you know. But yeah. And this is the second one off the album. I meant to drop this one way earlier as a single, but I never got around to it. I made it in Colorado when we were on vacation. And, uh, you know, I put a little bit of tribute to Mac Miller because uh, R.P. Mac, you know, the time for show, you know, it in 2009 no more. You know, I really enjoyed this one. If I messed up that part about Mac Miller, my bad. This one is called the right one. And pretty much I made it because at the time I was talking to this girl and she like ended things with me after like a month. And then like a week later, she was like trying to get like back with me. And I was like, what? You know, and she had got a boyfriend like the next day. So I wasn't like really happy with that, you know? the right one you can hear me say like you ain't the right one you know because i thought you were but you aren't and pretty much right there it just means like oh like i was the wrong choice and then you try to get back on me like now you sad bitch you know yeah. it really shows that like people like really don't care I did listen to Juice World. Listen to a lot of Scrim, cause that's when his album came out. You know. Yeah, and then she was all sad and she was like, You think you a hot mess, you know. Yeah, so for your mind, uh, so not a girl I you know then this is two cups produced by Cata Beats, fourth one off the album. You know, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. You know, it's just having fun, like chill song, like party too. You know, like two cups, like two cups of you know whatever your preference is. You know, just a fun song to make. You know, Cata Beats is a really good producer. I made a couple songs by him. You know, some unreleased, some released. You know, but it doesn't really mean a lot. You know, it's just kind of cool to like vibe to. And it says Maserati pull up and you're be in the back though, even though I don't have either of those, you know? But yeah. And this is the fifth one, the interlude. No, it's not. Well, this is Demons in My Dropbox produced by Cata Beats. Really good beat, really, really good beat, bro. I made a music video for this one, of me in the bathroom. And I'm gonna go more into the music video than the actual song. I filmed it in my bathroom and I was actually just taking like mirror pics. And then I started recording myself and I was like, shit, let's make a song, like make a video of a song. And I just made this one probably like a week ago before that. You know, I was just chilling, you know, just in my bathroom, you know, like I washed my hands, sat on the toilet, you know? like dry them off and everything that one's funny like at the end when i'm just drying my hands i really enjoy that one but pretty much it just talks about like having like problems and you know the way i express myself is through music and i put all my music in dropbox so like demons in my dropbox you know this kind of made sense and people really like the song I got money on your yeah but i really enjoy this song really good one Really good beat. 
This is a six and off the album. Purple Dreams, produced by Morin. I really enjoyed this one. And of course, if you listen close, you can hear that it's talking about lean, clothing. And I don't drink lean, but pretty much, I was kind of talking about like someone that has a lean addiction or coding addiction, you know, and it's hard to get out of because this shit is really addictive. You know, and I kind of made it whoever's going through that to like feel like, oh, you're not alone. Like other people are going through this. Cody in my dreams. You know, I would watch future interviews and be talking about lean and how he quit it and everything. But, you know, he got purple in his fist. I don't know if that's true, <laughs> but, you know, and it says, tell me who to go to. Tell me who to look for. Like, who do I like reach out to to help? You know, it's, it's tough, but you'll get through it eventually, you know, trust. And we get to the other half of the album, which is uh, starting off with If It Don't Feel Right, produced by Sober Nap. This one was pretty much like, you know, being in a relationship because you feel like you're forced to be in it. You know, you shouldn't feel like that, you know. If it don't feel right, it's not mine, but you're still in it because you want them to be happy. You know, like some parts are good, but for the most part, you don't enjoy it, you know. It's just kind of tough to deal with, you know. It don't feel right. This part was pretty much just talking about, like, you know, being with somebody and looking at them and being like, damn, like, I'm with you. Where you're kind of second guessing yourself, you know, it's tough, you know. But it's good, it's good parts, bad parts. But when I say anything but, I mean like it's anything but like I really love this, but you're really gone, you know. It's crazy, you feel me? This one is called Ounces, produced by Quill. And this is pretty much like a shoreline type beat. You know, this is a fun song. Doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, I'll take a couple ounces. Take a couple ounces with me. Not a whole lot to do with this one. I just want to have some fun, do a new kind of sound. Like shoreline, because I've been getting into shoreline recently. And it's pretty repetitive, you know. It's take a couple ounces with me. Back in this row. Yeah. This is the ninth song of the album. And originally this is gonna be the last one, but I was kind of going for a Mac Miller feel because on his album, Swimming, he has 13 songs. But the real last song is, uh, I think it's Conversations or, uh, the last one is Conversations, but like the real last one is, uh, pretty sure it's 2009. I want to do something like that, like a really meaningful song at the end, but then there's just like a kind of filler. And this one is talking about this, how like the shit gets rough and, you know, it feels like it's taking forever, but it's really just like, you know, you got a mile to go, just to get through it. A little bit better. I would just auto tune on this one. If you didn't know that, I would just auto tune a lot of these ones. This one's nice. I really enjoy this one. It's a great car. This is the last one off the album, Calling, produced by my homie, Michael Link. Really good beats, you should check them out. I actually had the song for a minute. I made the song in like May or maybe like April. I was like, I need a fucking ending. I mean, I need an ending, I'm sorry. I need an ending for this album. I thought, well, damn, this one's kind of good because it's talking about like how like you get famous, but you know, it's not what you expected. It. It's not good. And then well, I'm not famous, but you know, listening to people's interviews, they don't really like it that much. Don't like it. If you listen, 
you know, all these girls want you, but, you know, you don't want them, you know? Because they just want you for money or, like, clout or fame, you know? They don't really love you. Don't feel the same anymore. You know, because you get so famous that you're just numb and you don't feel anything anymore. But it lives in all my life. I really thought this was a good song to put at the ending. Shout out Michael Lynn for the beat. And this is Ziggy Time, breaking down 4 a.m. dreams. Be ready, be tuned for another song, another album, another music video. Whatever it is, be ready. Ziggy Time, out. Gang, much love.